So when you hear about someone who doesn't get nervous or doesn't scare easily, people describe how cool they are under pressure. Maybe they have ice in their veins. Well, Galen Culver heard about a World War II Navy man and an old story that proves he probably had ice cream in his veins. That's my first battle scene. It's been more than 71 years, but Merle Lebs doesn't need his collection of books and pictures to remember exactly where he was in June of 1942. This would be on the port side right here. He was an electrician's mate on board the USS Lexington during the Battle of Coral Sea, the old queen of the carriers hit by a torpedo. A series of explosions a few hours later doomed the ship. The sparking just set off the whole big blast. He'd grown up in Nebraska, never left the state until assigned to the Lexington in 1936. A narrow miss at Pearl Harbor, on a sinking ship at sea. Amidst all this, Merle still didn't think it might be his time. It could happen to you, but not to me. Is their attitude. Well, I must have been brought up on that or some darn thing, because it never, never, never worried me. Combat situations can sometimes play themselves out on a surreal timeline. Some moments crystallized forever, like they're frozen. 200 sailors on the Lexington died that day. But the moments Merle Lebs remembers best came in the minutes before they got the order to abandon ship. A warrant officer showed up on the gun deck, broke the lock on a freezer door, and started handing out ice cream. Didn't think nothing of it because yeah. you knew the ship was going to sink anyhow with abandoning the ship. Yeah. So he just figured, listen, might as well do it. <laughs> Merle and about a dozen others gorged on it, polishing off whole containers before lowering themselves into the water. It was in my mind. I mean, I can remember that so plain. The ice cream incident, he calls it, remains his favorite story of the war. The one he tells most often now at age 96, sharing its sweetness with family and friends, even with the neighbor's dog. Caretaker of the dog. It wasn't his time that day. Lebs finished out 20 years in the Navy, worked in the Long Beach shipyards, and still eats a little ice cream every day. Recalling that other day, when staying cool maybe made all the difference. In Krebs, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? Mr. Lebs says the last of these survivors had their last reunion a couple of years ago. He figures there were less than 15 people on that gun deck that shared ice cream day, and he is the last one alive to tell the story.